Hey guys, it's Nikki and Nichelle with Chicago Tribune, ChicagoNow.com, and I am sitting backstage with the Turn Up King, King of Crunk, Lil John. Boy, you sounded so goddamn perfect and like articulate, and you make me like I need to. Hello, yeah, hey, how are you doing? Oh, All right, glad, do... glad to be here. Not All right. Right. Yes. Right. you're doing the whole Dave Chappelle thing now. All right, damn. You can do whatever. <laughs> yeah. So tell us a little bit why you're in Chicago. I know it has to do with Bud Light, and you're going to get your party on. Well, Bud Light is like family with me. I've done so many uh, Bud Light events over the years, and they invited me to come and be down with the Bud Light party convention. You know, they're doing this in about 13 cities, and they're, they're bringing people together through music, you know. So uh, it's great to be here. Yeah, you've had a very uh, long music career, very successful music career, how do you, you know, keep it up? Any words of wisdom that you could give fellow rising artists or DJs? Uh, I guess, I mean, you just got to keep your ear to the streets and to culture and, uh, you know, just know where trends are and don't get stuck in uh, doing one thing. One thing about my career, you can look back through all of the stuff I've done. I've never been in a box. You know, I work with Pitbull. I work with E-40. I work with even, like, Nas and Jada Kiss, you know what I mean? So, like, I haven't just been one thing. And when you open your mind and your, you know, your ear up to different things and, you know, uh, even, like, me doing EDM stuff, you know, so, you know, before other people started to go into that, that space, you know, it's just me just expanding my mind and my musical ear, you know? So just got to be open to new things, you know? So. Yeah. Um, is that something I heard there, you know, your son is is dabbling at, at being a DJ. Uh, is well, that something you give him some little nuggets? He actually went to Scratch DJ Academy at 11. Oh. Um, so he's been DJing since he's 11. He's about to start NYU in uh, like a couple weeks. So, you know, he he's going to NYU to study, you know, music, everything about music from engineering to, you know, making music, music, all every aspect of music. But he's already, he's been producing for a couple of years. He's been making his own, like, uh, DJ edits and mashups since he was, like, 13, 14. So, you know, and he didn't do it, like, because his dad was doing it. He wanted to do it. And he actually had, you know, a natural musical ear. Like, where well, you would be in the car, and he could hear the next song coming in. Like, I call that a DJ ear. Because if you can hear the mix, then... You, you know what it is. And that was when he was like 11, 11 years old, you know. So uh, he's always, he's been in it and, you know, he's doing his own thing and he's not asking for daddy's help with everything. He's out there hustling and he making his own connections and, you know, I'm really proud of him. Well, this is my last question because I know you got to go. Yeah. But I always wondered after doing the Dave Chappelle thing, does people do people come up to you and be like, yeah, what? You know, yeah. do they just do like that? you did, just like you did. You wanted to do that. You, I know you did. Uh, yes, um, I could be at the grocery store, going through airport security. I think I've had every kind of person scream at me um, <laughs> you can think of, from TSA to, to uh, police officers or anybody. I've Everybody. I think if I meet Obama, he might go, yeah. <laughs> Well, it was great talking to you. I wish I had a little bit more time because I had a whole list of questions, but I tried to write out just a little bit to give good. to give the fans out there. But I got to get a picture with you. All good. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Lil John. Every time I'm in Chi-Town, I hang out with my girl, Nakia Nichelle. Yeah. <laughs>